Good morning, everybody. Um, today, I've got lots of errands to run, and I'm, I'm going to meet a friend for lunch, so I want to have my dinner done by the time I come home. So what's the answer? The crock pot, of course. Um, and I have such a great crock pot pot roast. And if you haven't tried this one, because it's been all over Facebook, it's been all over Pinterest, and actually, my friend Mike actually was the one who first made this, and we just fell in love with it, and it's so easy. Um, a lot of the crock pot recipes say brown the meat, blah, blah, blah. Well, then you've already dirtied another pan. This one you don't have to do that with. That's number one. Number two, you got to get these crock pot liners. If you've not heard of them or you haven't tried them yet, don't be afraid of them. They are not a thick plastic, not at all, but they are awesome. They will save a lot of elbow grease. You know me, foil pans, anything to, to speed along the cleanup. So you just put it in there and trust me, it's one of those things that you're like, how does it not melt? But trust me, it really does work great. And this is as easy as this gets. Here's my piece of meat. That is about a three pound piece of chuck roast. And in it goes. This is such a simple but such a yummy recipe, I can't tell you. And um, the original recipe, um, ah, I didn't have to leave, um, is going to call for one package of au jus gravy mix and one package of classic ranch. So all you're going to do, but actually, uh, all you're going to do is sprinkle this. Let me get you a little closer just so you can see what I'm doing. Just sprinkle this right down on the meat. Let me get that in there. And I like to kind of get it up and flipped over the side because, you know, you want to put your lid on tight, right? So let me not cut my face in half. And so you're going to take your ranch recipe and the whole package and just sprinkle it right on top of the roast. The whole thing. And then you're going to do the same thing with your au jus. You're not gonna add any liquid to this. It's amazing. And there we go. The whole package of au jus. The next thing you're gonna do is take a stick of butter and put that right on top of the meat, just like that. And then the last thing, now I don't have, um, I don't have banana peppers, you know, pickled banana peppers that you buy in the jar. Um, I just happen to be out of them. However, it says to use five or six banana peppers and a little bit of the juice. Well, you've heard me say this a million times. My husband and I like spicy. So I have jalapeno peppers. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to just sprinkle them liberally over the top of this because we like it spicy. But, but use bana uh, banana peppers as, and you know, you can buy mild or spicy banana peppers. E either way, I'm putting these in here. And then it says a little bit of the juice. So there's a little bit of the juice, eh, a little bit more. We like it spicy. So now that's the basic recipe. What I do to, to it, because you know I've got to put my own spin on everything, is I like to, we are a potato, my husband's a meat and potato kind of guy. So this is basically two potatoes that I peeled and chunked up and three carrots that I peeled and chunked up. You can buy the, you can get the little potatoes, you know, the little, little ones this big um, and put those in here, give, give them a quick little rinse. Um, <clears throat> you can use any kind of potato you want to and you don't even have to peel it, just wash it real good. And then you can also get those, um, little carrots, those little mini carrots, and you know, that are about that size, and throw those in here. You don't even have to cut them up. Now this one was really thick, so at the base part, I cut it in a quarter. So, so there's potatoes and onions, just because we like it that way. You don't have to do that. And there are potatoes and carrots. I'm gonna add an onion. And what I wanted you to see is, what I did was I cut this at this end. Here's the root end. I cut the opposite end off. And then I took the peelings and I peeled it back 
leaving the root end intact. And so what uh, intact, let me enunciate. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into the root in this way. And then I'm going to back you up so you can maybe have a chance. And I know that makes a noise and I'm sorry. And I'm gonna try to cut it, uh, cut it in wedges, but I wanna keep part of my wedge attached to that root. And the reason is that it holds the, the onion together. So when you pull it out, you get a whole wedge of onion instead of, and it kind of helps it to not, uh, you know, onion can cook down so much in a, a slow cooker that it disintegrates. So if you can see, each piece of that has a little root end on it. And when you eat it, you just, you know, take the root end out. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is there's no liquid, just butter, because that, the, the fat from the uh, roast itself and the butter, it's gonna make a fabulous, and you know, blending it with the au jus and the um, um, uh, buttermilk ranch dressing. And those were both um, Aldi um, packets. The Aldi buttermilk ranch is just classic ranch. It's really, really good. So it's 89 cents versus, you know, $1.89. So, so anyway, I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to put it on low for eight hours. And um, then when I, my dinner will be completely done. I may add a salad. I may not. It, it just depends on my mood. But my basic dinner will be done and delicious when I get back. Um, I will take a still photo of it. Um, when it's done and show you the end result okay I hope you try it it's so simple again it's all it's been all over Facebook but sometimes when you see someone do it you're like really that's all it takes to do it well that's all it takes this one is five minutes prep before you go to work in the morning and you see your house smells wonderful when you come home so you have a great day and we'll see you tonight